Hi, this is BB. Um, my phone is charging. I'm gonna put this uh, thing on top of where the camera is, so that you know, because. Um, so I've been having like a back and forth. Uh, well, I've been having a back and forth for years with the, with the Hispanic woman since this started happening in earnest in 2020 to now. Now I know other people are on it too. I did not know it was possible. I knew when I was in the motel room in 2020, I could hear a difference in the pronunciation of my name. Some people call me Bibi. That's the name. That's how you pronounce it. That's how you, you pronounce the word. The name. Bibi. Somebody was saying Bibi. 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 Which means that um, there was somebody else. It's almost like in a microphone they're, they're talking. Now again, I'm smelling the the, um, the, 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 some kind of a gas. You see, uh, I'm going to show you something. You see that? I'm trying to cover it up as best I can. It's a vent cover, but apparently it's not really working. So... To them, this is a colossal joke. This is like a joke, it's funny, haha. -ha. And it, these people are incorporating kids into what they do. Now, I don't know if they're pedophiles, and it's the very kids that they've molested, that they brought them into it. Hopefully people will just uh, get mad and just take them out, which is like a twofer for the adults, the pedophiles. They will not be able to rat out on them, and they will just, feel like they're ridding society of some budding pedophiles themselves. They're incorporating kids. So, because I refuse to believe that these people would use their own kids. If they do, then something is really wrong. Something is wrong with them mentally, unless this is like a Hail Mary for them, where they want people to believe there's something really wrong with them mentally, as a group, collectively, so that they escape the death penalty. Which means that people are coming after them. Well, what, one of the things I've, note, I, I've noticed with them is they will have this, uh, it is, it's almost like having a slave. We are like they're slaves, basically. They want, they want slaves. They have a sense of ownership. You know, in, the, in, the, in this country, in the olden days, even in my country, um, the blacks were taken, the black people were taken as slaves, the Indian people were taken as indentured laborers. But when you got to the country, it was all the same. There was no class distinction, no standard of living that was different. They all lived in the same thing. In the same places, ate the same food, were treated the same way, did the same jobs. I don't know what was the difference. But anyway, they want slaves, and one of them in particular, and this is a white female, um, she would be like, a, it's almost emotional for her when she thinks of stop hacking me. Now, the act of hacking me, remember, they are hacking me. They had to go out of their day, go out of their way to, to do something extra at once upon a time to hack me. Hacking is not a natural occurrence. It's not like the rain falling or there's a snowstorm or there's the sun shining or there's a tornado. These are not naturally occurring things. Somebody had to go out of their way to hack me. But to stop hacking me is like they have to part the Red Sea. They have to climb up on a mountain and get biblical tablets in order to, hack, to stop hacking me. It's like there's just too much work involved. And they've gotten so accustomed to not working that they can't do it. They just can't, it's like it's not within their realm of possibilities as a human being. Is it laziness? It is, is it colossal laziness? Is it just an ugly, 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 ugly mind? You tell me, what do you think this is? I need to pay my rent. I need to make a living. They have taken my livelihood and put it on a lockdown for their entertainment. 
Like they have to be torturing someone. Like they're not, they, they will not exist. Like their existence is not marked on some map somewhere or in some tablet somewhere or in some scripture somewhere. Like it's like they will cease to exist if they're not torturing somebody. That man in 2020 spoke of a young girl, a 16-year-old girl who was going through the same thing. You know what he said? When they found her, she was drugged out of her mind. She had to get three surgeries in the nether regions. Three surgeries, which means that she either got raped repeatedly or they inserted some foreign object into her. That's what he said. And her poop was not, she, her, her, her butt wouldn't hold her poop. That happened to me twice. I was just shitting on myself. It would just come out of, of my bottom. You didn't have to feel like you had to go to the bathroom. It would just run out. So I know he was telling the truth. My point is these people are the horrible people. It's like, it's like, it's not even about money for them. They like to torture people. They're living for the torture of another human being. This is what, this is the only thing that gives their life meaning. This is like the only thing that gives your life meaning. They have, to, they have to be torturing people all the fucking time. They have to be making their life a, 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 a living, breathing bed of dis-ease and discomfort. There has to be something that either scratching, pulling, tearing at something. Some of them like, I believe, when you cut yourself, when you harm yourself. They like that. This is what they go after. This is what they want. They will steal from you. They will steal from you blind. I don't know which is first. If it's the money that they have accumulated, that they're accumulating... As a, are, they, are they just stealing from you, stealing your inheritances? Or are people paying them to do this? So it's like a twofer for them. They're, get, they're making bank and they're, they're, they're living out their, their, their torturous uh, needs. Because this is torture. This is a prolonged torture of people. They're holding people hostage. Prisoners, basically. And torturing the shit out of them. And like it's hard for them to stop. Like they're out of control. Now they're going to go threaten to kill themselves. And then they have like one person, well she or he or she or she's being nurtured. She could do whatever she wants, rip people apart if they have to. Like rip them, rip them apart. The only thing, that's what I said. Last night I was, I was, I was talking out loud. The only thing left for her to do is to come and slice open my belly and have my hobby holding my entrails. Have me holding my entrails and my and my and my and my organs, and she's like, "Well, put them back where they should be," <laughs> and she'll be nudging another one. Put them back where they should be, like it's a joke for her. But she educated. You're a dumbass. She's killing people and torturing people. That's where I guess if you follow her, people go say, "Well, they shouldn't be educated if this is the result of education." Being a dumb cunt like she is. A torturous dumb cunt. I know she's female. That's like how Kevin knows who these people are. You can hear the voice. You know. You know who they are. And they see the cats going crazy. Because the, the, the thing is, it's like an energetic thing. It's like a yawn. You know when you yawn and the, the yawn passes? It's the energy of tiredness. It's the energy of tiredness. When you yawn, sometimes you're on the phone and you yawn and the other person yawns. It's the energy of tiredness. So this is what they get riled up in their own way. They're riled up now. They're mad now. Their prisoner is about to break loose. They're mad. This can't happen. They want to call down angels, host of angels to protect them. These people need to go to justice. Justice needs to take place. Justice needs to take place. 
All they're doing is filling their pockets and think they're like gods and goddesses. They're bullshit artists. They're torturers. They like to torture people. They have no place in this society. The fucking government needs to wake up. It needs to wake up. It needs to wake its ass up. It needs to wake up. It needs to wake up. No more sleeping deep state and all that cunt bullshit. Wake the fuck up. I'm sick and tired of hearing people say deep state. What deep state and deep sleep. Fuck that shit. You no matter how long you sleep, it's time to wake the fuck up now. They have to wake up. Whatever we can do, you have to listen for these key words. If this has been happening to you for a prolonged period of time, it's almost they feel a sense of ownership over you. And it's bullshit. You're not owned by anyone. This is what they feel like. They have a slave. Because you're manifesting things for them. Some of us, you ever hear that says some people are just fucking lucky? We are those people. We are those people. The universe rushes to give us whatever we need. And they're taking it. They're taking it. We are those people who are lucky. And we have empathy. What I would like to do is to, is to help everyone out there, especially runaway teenagers, people on drugs, young people, young people on drugs. I would have a stiffer penalty for all these people who are peddling these drugs to them. They want money for show and bling. Bigger houses, bigger cars, bigger boats, bigger this, bigger that. They want to buy people. They want to swag. They don't know the art of, 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 of hard work. They don't know the art of actually being uh, productive. They just want money for the money's sake. For how people will see them. They're swagging. They have no culture. They have nothing. Nothing. They don't even have human decency where the fuck they're going to get culture from. If this is what they think is fun. And for those of you out there who is watching this, you're losing your humanity more and more every day. Not this video with people who are doing this and you're watching it and think it's funny. It's not. You need to call the fucking police and report it. Report it. And watch out for that. If it's happening to you for a prolonged period of time, there's something about you. It has to be. You're the special that they want. You're drawing things to you that they're, they're utilizing, they're taking from you. And then ultimately they want to take your life. Don't let it happen. Fight back in any way you can. They've locked my fucking business down. Now to hack me, like I said, it took some doing. They had to actively do something. Now it seems like the world has to come to an end before they can stop hacking. They are, are these people are lazy, lazy, lazy fuck. Lazy fucking people. Lazy motherfuckers. Everything you have they entitled because, well, now they just, well, it's, it's just like looking at a person walking down the street. Oh, look at that. Look at his head. Look at his arm. Everything he has now is mine. How the fuck does this work for them? How does it work? How the fuck does it work? Well, look, he, he killed somebody in his past. He nearly killed someone. He kicked his dog. He kicked his cat. He ran over into the neighbor's garbage can. He must be punished now. You boo fucking who? They're, 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 they're taking um, a revenge on, on behalf of people. They want revenge. They're avenging, basically, out of people that you've wronged in your past. They don't know these motherfuckers. And they would take their money, too, if they had some. It's the silliness they've grown, but it's, it's so silly. Oh, God, the silly and stupid, stupid, stupid group of people. They're stupid. The stupidity is beyond belief. This is why it's like you hear it, you're not going to want to believe it. How stupid this sounds. Unfortunately, what they're doing to us is real. And that's one of the things they don't want to go to court for, how, how this will look in court. They're worried about aesthetics and the way they appear to people. Mostly that's what they're worried about, is the way they appear to others. 
people may laugh at them, and that's not going to work. They will kill you than to have people laugh at them. Usually people who bully people, they can't stand the way people look at them. That's the one thing they try to maintain, is appearances. It means a lot to them, because they have nothing else going for them. Nothing. So if this is happening to you, take heart. Take heart, and we have to band together. Somehow we have to band together.